they're on their way, thanks to 3D printing. The realistic humanoid robots from popular movies and TV shows may be closer than you think. Using its fleet of large, format Cubicon SLA 3D printers, Gluck, a South Korean 3D printing and 3D design service provider, has mass-produced several ultra-realistic robots. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. To get interesting news like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. South Korea has been ranked as one of the top 10 countries in the world for robot adoption. South Korea is so committed to robotic technology that the number of products it produces outnumbers those from countries with a large population. According to a World Economic Forum report, South Korean industries employ more than 631 robots for every 10,000 human workers in all industries across the country. This is the highest proportion ever recorded anywhere on the planet. This report was written while the World Economic Forum was compiling a list of the top 10 countries in the world that have already begun to use robots for major industrial purposes, particularly in manufacturing. Gluck created these humanoids for an installation at Hanam's New Dyke store, which is owned by local designer eyewear brand, Gentle Monster. The mechatronic art is supposed to resemble a robotic assembly line. A large SLA 3D printer factory produces the robots for an animatronic installation. All of the parts for the humanoid robots were 3D printed using large format SLA technology, and the surface finishes were extremely photorealistic. A urethane coating was also applied to the photopolymeric 3D printed parts to ensure their durability. The Gluck team, which takes pride in constantly improving the capabilities of its SLA systems, used a very high resolution texture to replicate even the skin pores on each humanoid robot's face. Extensive post-processing was required to achieve a perfectly realistic skin tone. Gluck's creative and production capabilities are impressive, and they rely on a fleet of more than 20 massive SLA systems. In 2021, the company opened the Wiko 3D Printers facility in Paju, Gyeonggi-do, Korea's largest industrial 3D printing automation factory, and introduced 16 Cubicon Max 600 SLA systems with a short-term plan to mass-produce silicone molds and surgical simulators, and a longer-term plan to add a metal 3D printing business. Wiko 3D Printers Co. Limited was founded through a joint venture with former Lock & Lock CEO and current CEO Kim Chang-ho of Shiliman. According to Korean news portal, Ama News, they plan to complete an industrial 3D printing automation factory line. The companies chose Cubicon, a subsidiary of High Vision System that specializes in 3D printing, as the provider of the necessary equipment of the production. At the site, a total of 20 SLA 3D printers will be in use. The companies are targeting the print-on-demand market, which allows the customers to produce their own design products, in addition to mass-produced industrial and medical parts such as silicone molds, simple molds, and surgical simulators. We have started to build a large-scale 3D printer automation factory to raise mass production, which was the limit of 3D printers, said J.O. Kong, CEO of Gluck, Co. Limited, and director of Wiko 3D Printers. The company also provides support to clients who want to internalize digital additive mass production capabilities in addition to mass production of parts and on-demand production for startups. Since 2013, Gluck has developed over 10,000 prototypes using 3D printing. Through the makerspace, the company is currently operating a 3D printing specialized lab, which supports professionals in the industrial and medical fields. Wiko 3D Printers and Cubicon were both involved in the construction and operation of the makerspace. Gluck intends to expand its fleet to more than 100 industrial 3D printers in the future, with additional investment. The company also plans to introduce several metal 3D printers in order to advance into the mass production of metal parts and maintain price competitiveness. Based on the 3D printing automation factory, we will do our best to advance the era in which anyone with an idea can produce products through 3D printing, Gluck CEO Hong jae Ok said. We look forward to synergies through collaboration with Glue and Wiko 3D Printers, which are preparing to promote professional labs together with Cubicon in the first generation of Makerspace, said Du Won Choi, CEO of Cubicon. We plan to continue investing so that Cubicon's 3D printer can be used with this supply contract as an opportunity. South Korea's government effort for the development of robotic infrastructure is commendable. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section. For mass production of robots in Korea, the government has taken some more initiatives. Samsung has received a multi-million dollar investment from the South Korean government to develop factory robots that can perform complex tasks that were previously done by humans. The $16.75 billion investment, according to the country's Ministry of Trade, will help manufacturers compete with China's cheap labor. 
Samsung will be tasked with developing high-precision robots, which are currently expensive and frequently imported from abroad, according to the Yonhai News Agency. Precision speed reducers, motors, controllers, and sensor encoders will all be manufactured by Samsung. The plan, according to the ministry, was for South Korean robots to take over work that was previously performed by low-wage Chinese workers. The robots will eventually be used to manufacture products like cell phones and other consumer electronics that require the level of precision that can only be achieved by human hands. Samsung, like many other large smartphone companies, relies heavily on low-cost Chinese labor to produce its products. However, rising Chinese wages are squeezing profit margins, necessitating the development of more automated factories. Once affordable robots reach the markets and are widely used, it can lead to the creation of smart factories and far-reaching manufacturing sector innovations, the ministry said in a statement. Samsung will provide the blueprint for mass-produced six-axis vertical articulated robots if the project succeeds. The ministry claims that as a result, companies in South Korea and elsewhere will be less reliant on cheap labor to produce goods. You might be thinking, why are we focusing too much on the development of robots? Although they are smart, the development cost is huge. Well, the following facts that depict the rising importance of robots will blow your mind. According to the International Federation of Robotics, the global industrial robotics market was worth $10.7 billion, with over 57,000 industrial robots shipped. China was the largest market, followed by Japan, the United States, and South Korea. Robotics are currently used in around 10% of manufacturing processes, but that percentage is expected to rise to 20% by 2025. Geek Plus, another robotic developer, announced that it has fully deployed robots in Naver Shopping's distribution center that is South Korea's top e-commerce platform. CJ Logistics Managing Director Kim kung hoon said, We are excited to use smart robots to improve our supply chain operations and increase our competitiveness. CJ Logistics and Geek Plus have collaborated in this project. CJ Logistics, based in South Korea, claims to transport raw materials and products across all industrial sectors. Automobile manufacturing, shipbuilding, and steel production are among them, as are consumer goods, food, and chemicals. In addition, the company runs a top-level automation center and handles harbor loading and unloading. The most recent deployment includes 128 autonomous mobile robots that operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and cover 8,300 square meters of allocated space within CJ Logistics' 10,000-square-meter warehouse. CJ Logistics claims it has increased its operational efficiency by 33% by integrating Geek's robots and software into its warehouse management system. In ever-changing business conditions, Geek Plus said it will continue to work with CJ Logistics to provide Korean businesses with technology to improve their efficiency and lower warehouse management costs. In the long-term perspective, a large-scale use of robots is required to maintain competitiveness. The Korean population is rapidly aging. It will have one of the oldest populations of all countries by the middle of the century, just behind Japan, Italy, and Greece. By 2050, more than a third of the population will be over 65, and nearly half of all workers will be 50 or older. This helps to explain why South Korea has already embraced robots, particularly in the manufacturing sector, where robot density is second only to Singapore in the world. The Republic of Korea has more than twice as many industrial robots per 10,000 employees as Germany and Japan. Humanoid robots are here to stay, and as AI advances, we may soon see them everywhere in our daily lives. What do you think about South Korea's mass-produced humanoid robots and whether they will impact our lives in future? We are eager to know your views in the comment section below. That's all for today. Kindly subscribe to the channel and like, share, and press that bell icon below. See you in the next video. Till then. Peace.